All right. You ready? Here you go. Ready? My name's Jeff Putnam. I've been a game warden going on four years. Oh! We're going to have to work on your retrieving a little bit more. OK. When I was very young, I was always in the outdoors, hunting and fishing. Go get it. And when I came through college and looked at becoming a game warden at the time, the opportunities just weren't there. So I went into practicing law, and I was a maritime international law attorney in, in Houston for 22 years. And then I decided to make a change into law enforcement and uh, haven't looked back since. I received a call from a citizen that had been out looking at some property. This adjoining property that he was looking at has a a fence, and inside it, there's definitely a small spotted fawn that he thinks somebody has penned it up as a pet, which is uh, obviously not permitted because they are a regulated animal, especially deer. It's a big game animal here in the state. We're going to meet local warden John Griffin and see if there's anybody home. This is our property on the left. We'll go and knock and talk and see if we can find the deer. Hey, yes, good morning. Yes, sir. I'm State Game Warden. How are you? All right, very good. Do you have a deer on your property? Uh, yeah, they got the uh, running around. OK, is it in the back? Yeah. OK. You want to find this deer and get this deer. OK, can you open the gate? Open the gate for me? OK, all right, perfect. So where did this deer come from? He got uh, wounded, and I bring it here when he's uh, a little bit, and I, I try to relieve him. OK, OK. OK. How long have you had the deer? Over two months. When she's a baby. You all keep him in this? Yeah. I thought maybe i take care a little bit and maybe bring it back to the wildlife. And... Oh, OK. We're going to see if we can capture it, but. Please, don't hurt him. Well, we don't want to hurt him. My biggest concern is once they try and flee, their hormones and their heart rates go through the roof. When they're trapped in an enclosed space, it's a constant adrenaline rush, and their bodies get overwhelmed, and eventually they will just give out. And sometimes that can prove fatal. pretty healthy and he's not as small as I was expecting. So it's gonna take a little bit of effort to get him corralled and then to get him into here. It's definitely a two-man job on this type of deal. It's not gonna let us walk up to it. I will uh, I will uh, try to fit him and, and and maybe I can tie it up. No, not a tie it up, but, but I can hold it. He not see anybody will be okay. You think if we step no. out, you can get him? Yeah, yeah. OK. okay. Because I don't want to get hurt. Because well, I, I, badly. I, I know. The goal is to get hold of it as quickly as we can so that it decreases the long-term effects of any stress on it, get it in the kennel, and get it to the rehabber as quickly as we can. Oh, there you go. Baby, baby, come here. Come here. Come here. Get him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. It's okay. Come on. Get his front. Oh, my God. Okay, I know you. Get his head. Get his head. Control his head. This is what I'm giving you. This is a warning only. It's for unlawful possession of a white-tailed deer, which is a game animal in the state of Texas, OK? I miss, I miss him so much. Oh, well, I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute after we take care of the, this. I just need you to sign right here. It's not a ticket. It's just a warning that'll go in our system so that if this ever happens again, chances are you're not going to receive a warning, OK? Yeah. No, this, I'm this, not makes, makes it. This is your copy. Now, what I'll tell you is if you're interested in taking care of deer like Please, that, yes. 
you can contact our department and you can pursue a rehabber's permit, then you can have one back here and you can take care of them until they're old enough to release yeah. and then it's not a problem. But when you don't have a permit and we get complaints, we have to come grab the deer and have to take care of it because we have to do what's best for the deer, okay? Yes, yes, sir. Well, I'm sorry we met under these circumstances, but Bambi will be in good hands, okay? Please. Thank you, appreciate your cooperation. Yeah. He actually tried to do something good for it. He just didn't understand that what he was doing was wrong. And then once he saw what had happened with the deer and the stress and everything, and I think it upset him a little bit. So I don't think he's gonna be doing this again unless he's got permission to do it. The deer is gonna be taken to a facility where they raise fawns. And in probably about two to three months, it'll be released into the wild to rejoin the herd where it should be. some gill nets running across the river um, further up. And so um, some of the landowners along the river have reported an increase or sightings in some nets around their area. And so we'll try to make a run up there and pick up as much as we can. A gill net basically is just a, a big curtain of fishing net. The fish swim into the gill net and their gills get caught in the net and it kills them. So if you have 10 or 20 spread out along the river, Obviously, you can see how that can really take a toll on the fish population. And we got a little turtle on the road up here. Make sure we don't get near him. He looks healthy, too. Hey, little guy. He looks good. Coming up. Right now, while we're pulling gillnet, we are at a more heightened sense of security because of the proximity to the border and because of the issues with um, the cartel and kind of how they operate along the river. And so because of that, while I'm pulling net, we'll have Wesley, who his only job or responsibility basically is just to keep an eye on what's going on on the, uh, on the Mexico side of the river. Okay. So far, it looks like there's some mullet. We got some crab in there. Let me know if you need me to bump the boat. You're good. You're good. We have an opportunity to try to at least save one of them. We'll do it. There he goes. Somebody talk to me about where we think the halfway is. Yeah, or... I'll let you know. OK. We're going to cut it down the middle. And we're going to cut and keep the, the, the portion that is on the US side of the river, which is off to our right. Carmen, we're good right here. All right, got it. So we're pretty much going to figure this is the center. We're going to cut this net and let them keep their end. 